things I love, love, love to do when I'm roasting a chicken is to throw an extra one on so that I've got a big jump start on a meal another time. That's what I've done this time. I had an extra roast chicken and I pulled all the meat off of it and I've got it chopped up here over here in a bowl and we are about to make one of my all-time favorites. We're going to make chicken pot pie. Now, my six-year-old has issues with turkey and we don't know where it came from. But he'll swear up and down that he hates turkey. So, my 12-year-old asked if instead of turkey, if he liked big chicken. Well, he was all over that. He thought that was just fine. So that's why this is uh, big chicken pie. I usually make it with turkey at Thanksgiving. This time, I'm giving myself a jump start from what I did this morning. Super easy. I've got two tablespoons of butter right here. Do we have a light go out? Fix that light. <laughs> I've got about a tablespoon of olive oil that I added to the pan. And my pan is already nice and hot. So we're going to jump it with a mirepoix which is onions, celery, and carrot. And I've also got about two cloves of garlic over here minced up. And a nice big bunch of thyme. I love thyme. I think it's just the most wonderful background flavor. And it's fabulous with anything that, well, with anything. I can't think of a whole lot that I don't put thyme in. This is one of my favorites. Now, this is how fast I, this stuff comes together. All I'm going to do over here is let these vegetables sweat. And that just means they're going to start getting a little translucent, they'll get fragrant, and they'll start smelling good. We're going to make the topping for the pot pie. Now, a lot of times I make this with a plain old pie crust. I love an all-butter pie crust, and I love to throw a bunch of cheese in it and get it really horribly evil. In this case, I'm going to do a little bit better. I'm making a biscuit to go on top. All I've got in here is uh, two cups of flour. It's just all-purpose flour. A good pinch of kosher salt. I've got, what is that? That's a teaspoon of baking soda. All right? So, and I'm doing this in my food processor. I'm going to make a drop this way. Like I said, sometimes I don't have time to go completely all the way from scratch, but I still want all that comfort food taste. So, three ounces of cream cheese, half a stick of butter. Now, if we were going after a big, fat, flaky biscuit, to put country ham on or something like that that's just even better. I would probably do more of this by hand. However, I'm going to make a drop biscuit that's going to go on top of my chicken pot pie. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. So all we want to do is make sure that our fats have become completely incorporated. And nope, we've got a hold out piece of butter. Hang on. We'll let that finish itself up. Are we good? Check them out. Watch the blades on your food processor. Yes. Okay. So, everybody in there? Yeah. All right. This is about two-thirds of a cup of buttermilk. We're going to strain that in. I love the acid, the little tangy buttermilk thing that happens when you use this. And it's going to work with that uh, baking soda. We're going to have a lot of nice fluffy stuff. Stop walk away. All right? Coming back over here. This is getting perfect. Now, at this point, I am going to cut the camera off. I'm going to give this, I'm going to give my veggies about five minutes. I'm going to double check my biscuit dough. It might be a little tighter than I want it. I want it loose enough I can scoop it out with a spoon. So I'm going to double check that. Let this do its thing. And I'll just sit around over there. <laughs> Aha. All right, you shouldn't have laughed at me because I went to get the rest of our ingredients and I got a little tiny Hershey bar out of the freezer that you didn't know about. <laughs> okay, so our veggies have gone to this point. And I really love them when they've still got some crunch and bite to them. The carrots have gotten really nice and sweet. Oh, they're beautiful. And one of the things I love about doing it this way is that your veggies are flavorful and intense and stand on their own, but you still have just amazing chickeny flavor, which, you know, chicken pot pie. So we're just going to stir everybody together, and we're going to make a quick bechamel. We're going to do a little sneaky shortcut on the bechamel, though. So once our flour, you see we got no lumps, and we're letting our flour begin to cook off. And in essence, you've made a roux by doing this. Um, it's a flavored roux with the vegetables, but you still have the butter and the, and the olive oil and the flour. 
in approximately equal proportions. All right, so to this, I've got a couple cups of chicken stock. Chicken stock. You know, I said I'd roasted an extra chicken. I threw the bones. Once I picked all the meat off, I threw the bones in a pot with some water and simmered it down and got homemade chicken stock, which is awesome and fabulous. Okay, so I used a cup, just about a cup of the homemade chicken broth. You don't want it to go too loose at this point, because you can always add a touch in a minute when you decide just how thick you want it. So look, this is already coming to a simmer for me. Oh, and my oven's hot. I love it. So to this, to get the bechamel part without all the cream, we're going with 8 ounces of cream cheese and the lovely tangy yumminess of the cream cheese is what's going to give us that body instead of using a cup of cream. You know, not that I have a problem with a cup of cream. <laughs> so we're going to stir this in. This is going to take just a minute to fully incorporate. And at that point, I'm going to throw in the chicken, and I'll show you how to pop everybody together before it goes in the oven. All right, see, here we go. Now, the cream cheese is fully incorporated. We've still got that nice simmer, which is going to tighten and thicken from the flour that we put in there. I want a little looser with the sauce, so I'm just going to add a touch more of the chicken broth. Not much. It doesn't take much. Now, this is my chicken. Into the pot. Everybody in. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat because the last ingredient before we adjust our seasonings is about a cup to a cup and a half of frozen peas. And that's all there is to that. I do want to make sure that we've got a good flavor base. Lots of salt and pepper. Creamy stuff loves black pepper. Okay, so we are going to bring all this together. See? Isn't that pretty? And you know what? I call this a bechamel because it's cream sauce. But it's almost a Mornay because it has cheese in it. Of course, you know, a Mornay is nothing but a bechamel with cheese. So this might just be the bechamel Mornay love child. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really into those right now. All right, here, ah, here we go. Over here, right into our casserole dish. And this is a big one. Have my oven over here hot. Now, if you make just plain old drop biscuits with the same recipe, which is yummy, bake them off at 450 degrees for about 10 minutes, maybe a touch longer. You know, I do a lot of that just by eyeballing things. Hang on a minute. Mmm, yummy. All right, I just tasted it. It needs more salt. Okay. Here we go. All right, so we're going to get messy for our biscuit topping. All you want to do, little handfuls right over the top. See? Easy peasy. All right, so let me finish this so I don't overshoot my limit, my time limit. And I'm going to brush the tops of my biscuits with a little bit of butter and a little bit of cream. And yes, I'm using both of them. Pop it in the oven, and I'll be back to show you what it looks like when it's all done. This, haha, I think it was in for about 25 minutes. And I had it right at 400, and it got nice and bubbly. Oh, hush. It got nice and bubbly and beautiful all the way around here. And look at this beautiful, crusty yumminess on the biscuits. So, this is the world's fastest chicken pot pie. All homemade with sour cream mornay and those yummy little drop biscuits. Oh, nice. I love the inside of a biscuit. And that. Mmm. Is to die for. <laughs>